Here's another scenario. This time we have got a boat on the ocean and it is trying to work out how far, how deep is the ocean. So it sends a sonar, which is a pulse, an ultrasound pulse, down to the bottom of the ocean and then the pulse comes back up again. It's detected by the boat. The sonar instrument detects how long it took for that pulse to go down to the bottom and come back up again. And then it does calculations in its computer to work out how deep that ocean is. So just to make it a little bit easy, we're gonna say the time it takes for that pulse to go down and back up is one second. Now, we need the speed of sound, but this time we need the speed of sound in seawater. So the speed of sound is 1140 meters per second. So we want to try and work out distance. So D is our unknown question mark. So we need to find the right formula. So we're going to use V equals D divided by T, but we need to manipulate the formula such that D is by itself on the left hand side. Cover up our D, V times T. D equals V times T. Now, we need to substitute in here for our, um, our values. And it's an easy one, it's 1140 times one. So our distance is 1140 meters. Let's do a reality check. We've worked out the time from, from the boat to the bottom and back up to the boat uh, was one second. Down and back up was one second. Judging by with that speed of sound in the water, we've worked out the distance down and back up. This is where you need to do your check. So we've worked out the distance down and back up. But what was the question asking? The question was asking, how deep is the ocean? In other words, how far is it one way? So just down, not down and up, but just down. So we actually need to divide this by two. So our distance, so our distance is actually 570 meters. So it's really important for us to do that reality check and ask ourselves, have we worked out what we've been asked to work out? If we had a stop at 1140, we would not have got the right answer. So again, what did we do? We read, we found, the, looked at the question. We worked out what we knew and what we needed to find out. We selected the right formula. We manipulated the formula so it was in the um, fashion that we needed so that our unknown was on the left hand side by itself. We inputted our data and then we made our calculation. Then we did a check and realized that we had to do further. And that's our final answer.